Tom Brady's announcement that he will no longer be returning to the New England Patriots. I don't know if this coronavirus got owners feeling, you know, trigger happy to make make moves, but man, oh man, was it crazy the moves that that was made today. So, first of all, we get the big boom of the day, which was Tom Brady's announcement that he will no longer be returning to the New England Patriots. He's played there for his entire 20-year career. He is currently 42 years old, came in the league seventh rounder, was a backup to Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe got hurt. Tom Brady gets his chance. He wins three out of four championships or three championships in four years. Um, Almost had an unbeaten season. Tom Brady, one of the greatest football players ever. Widely considered as the greatest football player ever. He is no longer coming back to the New England Patriots. Now, before we get on to any of the other things that happened today, Brooks, what was your reaction to that news? To the, to the Brady news? To Brady announcing via social media that he is no longer returning to the New England Patriots. I mean, the writing was on the wall, so can't be too surprised, but it was good for him to just, you know, announce it and put it out there. Make sure it was a uh, common knowledge because a lot of people were thinking he was going to stay around, and you know that was the furthest thing from the truth. I thought he was staying many, around. I thought this man years? was just being a great A troll. How many years? I don't know. Has he played, played for. Uh, has he played for uh, the, the Patriots? That man has played for year, two I, decades. I was in elementary school. Tom Brady is the guy that most. People that don't know football will say when you ask them, hey, name a football player you know. I know Tom Brady. He's usually one of the first ones. Okay. So Tom Brady, a uh, very important player in the sport. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of him. I'll be I'll be, you know, straightforward about it. Don't really like the guy too much. I think he's very pompous. I think he's a cheater. I think. Um, anyways, he is a six-time champion. He is no longer returning to the New England Patriots. Um, he is rumored to be signing with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tampa Bay, Florida. Very different from what I was hearing. I was hearing that he was looking to sign with his home state, either the Niners of San Francisco or the, what was the, what's the other California? Los Angeles Rams. No, Chargers, excuse yeah. me, Los Angeles Chargers. So that didn't happen. He's moving to a sunny Where state. It, uh, so or so it says. Michigan. How reliable is this source yeah. here? We had, at first, Colin Coward was reporting this, that he got a text from somebody who has Im- reliable information that he's going to be signing tomorrow with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Then, a few hours later, Adam Schefter comes out and reports it. And let me just say, for Colin Coward, a TV personality, to have the inside scoop before Adam Schefter on Tom Brady's uh, next destination, that is big time. And I know you can appreciate that, Brooks, being a sports media journalist. You know, like, how, what what is your reaction to that? The, the coward having a, having a scoop first? Before Chef, bro. That's like that's like somebody having I mean, the, the info before Woj and Shams in basketball. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's crazy, you know. It, it, it all depends on who you know and who you talk to. I mean, it might have been Howard just estimating, or not estimating, like estimating. You know, this is gonna happen. Or, you know, so you think he might have been capping early. about the message? Like he never had a message, but he just had a hunch that he might be going there. You think he might have been capping? It's 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 possible. I mean, I don't know. I'm not that big of a fan of Howard in the first place, but mm-hmm. you know, he's a great personality. He's a great. He's got a lot of great sources. Possibly, so anything is possible when you have the right connection. Yo, shout out to Colin Coward. He was the first one today to say anything about Tom Brady to the Bucks. So definitely, you know, that's a W. W for that guy. A guy who takes a lot of L's. He that's a W. The next thing that happened uh, that was pretty big was DeAndre Hopkins. Now DeAndre Hopkins is the star wide receiver, the best player of the Houston Texans, former best player of the Houston Texans. He has now been traded to Arizona for Derek Johnson in draft picks. I believe it was a second and fourth round draft pick. What that means is they got rid of DeAndre Hopkins' contract. 
They upgraded at the running back position, and they got draft picks down the line. Can't be bad. You know, at first, I was looking at it, DJ for Hopkins, right? Which to, was a horrible trade, if that's how you're looking at it. Franco, are you familiar with Philip Rivers? Philip Rivers? I am not. Philip Rivers is another old man in the NFL, right? Tom Brady's 42, Philip Rivers is 38 or 39, something like that. Philip Rivers is the longtime quarterback of the Chargers. Now, he was supposed to be he was supposed to be the Giants draft pick, but the Giants traded Eli Manning for Philip Rivers. Or no, they traded Philip Rivers for Eli Manning. The Giants did to acquire Eli. Eli goes on to win two championships and have a pretty uh, mediocre career in terms of stats. Philip Rivers, on the other hand, has been an elite quarterback in terms of stats oh. for several, 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 several years. Yeah. Yep. Hello? Yeah. What happened? What the fuck? Can y'all hear me? I think we lost, bro. Hold on. Hello? Boy, what happened? I don't know, bro. My mic went out somehow. That's all good. But anyways, I was saying, so we got, um, who was I talking about? Oh, Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers uh, was supposed to play for the Giants, got traded. Eli Manning goes on to win two championships, has a subpar career statistically. On the other hand, Phillip Rivers, amazing stats over his tenure and wins no Super Bowls. Now, let me ask you this, Franco. You have somebody who's super successful in the regular season a lot of times and never wins a chip. And then you got a guy who's subpar, you know, average, very average, as average as they come, but gives you two championships. Which one you want? He gave, so Eli Manning gave you two championships, right? Two championships so sure and 15 that, years of medi- uh, mediocrity. So it sounds like his... Super Bowl wins might have more to do so with the rest of the team or the coaching, right? 100%. 100%. Legendary so defenses both times. It sounds like they're missing out on on uh, signing uh, Phillip Rivers because he has more potential. If he had a better team, if he had more potential, if, he, if you're saying he's a better player, then he has more potential to win a Super Bowl if he has the right team, right? Now, I want to add on to that. The reason Phillip Rivers actually has such good stats is because he's forced almost every game to throw the ball 40 to 60 times. On average, quarterbacks should be throwing it about 30, maybe 35 times a game now in today's league. And they came up in kind of like a running league, right? So usually it's anywhere from 20 to 30. Phillip Rivers is throwing 40 to 60. Why? Because his team is putting him behind in every single game and he needs to come to every rescue or so to say so uh, okay philip rivers amazing stats Sounds like if you were to make like an analogy to basketball is it like lebron when he was on the cavaliers yes yes mm-hmm. I, I i would i would yeah, say kind of kind of something like that but kind of well, he, they did have like, a legendary uh, coach at one point they they had or well, not legendary but they had great coaches they had great teams LeBron, on the other other hand, never had a great coach and almost never had great teams. So it's barely, you can make a comparison, but it's uh, not really much to look at. How old is Phillip Rivers? Phillip Rivers is 38 years old. Okay. Um, So it sounds like he is missing out. Like he has a lot of potential if he had the right team. If he had a better team, he could probably play even better, right? Probably, He could yeah. probably have better stats. So what would you say his ideal team would be? Oh, man. Uh, the team, well, we didn't even get to, to the, the biggest part of, of Phillip Rivers being, spo- being talked about in this topic. Phillip Rivers is going to the Colts, the Indianapolis Colts. The Indianapolis Colts last year were considered to have the best offensive line 
And one of the biggest reasons Philip Rivers has struggled so long in his career is because he's consistently had one of the top 10 worst offensive lines in the league almost every year. What does that mean? That means he has no time to look at his receivers and throw without worrying about getting his ass cracked. So he's throwing ill-advised passes. He's getting picked off. He's doing a lot of shit he probably wouldn't be doing if he had a good offensive line. Now he does. So we will see this year just how good Phillip Rivers really is because clearly age 38 means about you probably still have five, six years left in the league. Look at Tom Brady, right? If Phillip Rivers is 38 and Tom Brady is 42, I can get Phillip Rivers at the very most two productive years or at the very least two productive years. Um, This is his best chance to make the AFC championship and that's it. That's his ceiling. Because with the Colts, we'll see what happens with the Colts, man. The Colts are going to be a good a team next year, for sure. Hey, is Philip Rivers like? Is he usually in the top ten best quarterback? No, top ten is he in best? a lot of people's list. Yeah, no, yeah, no, uh, no. no, no, top twenty. Yeah, for sure, top twenty, hundred percent for sure. Yeah, he might be eleven. Right. 11 dang he might just be a lot he might be the best one of the top 20 <laughs> it seems like his team was holding him back he did have a legendary yeah. running back i will say that much so he had one of the best running backs ever for a good stretch there in his career so or uh, one of the best Lord running backs ever. Like- my guy or gal thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe comment Hit the notification bell and share this video for the latest on sports, progressive politics, and pop culture. Slap!